Uh, my girlfriend is racist against me. <clears throat> Hi, Bill. I've been dating uh, this girl for a year. She is Asian American. I am half Caucasian and half Hispanic, but I look white. Uh, she was telling me it's funny that I'm half Hispanic because her Hispanic friend objected to her dating me when I thought I was just white. Uh, normally I wouldn't let this bother me because part of me gets it. All people of color have experienced some sort of racism from white people. Um, the conversation made me uncomfortable and she must have picked up on it because she started defending her friend. All right. You said, normally I wouldn't let this bother me because I get it. All right, but it did, it did bother you because I guess you like this girl and she's saying this shit. She began bashing white people and explaining to me that I'm one of the good ones. Um, I come from a liberal mixed family. <clears throat> I said that even though I get it, I still don't think that sh they should assume I'm conservative racist just because I'm white. She began to lecture me about white privilege and how racism against whites isn't the same as racism against people of color, which I agree with. But does that make it OK? I will never truly understand. He, they're basically arguing because they're not in a position of power where their racism can affect you getting a job or not getting a job. It can not affect you if you're walking in a park at night and they decide to jump you. But other than that, white racism as the theory goes and is presented holds way more power because they can actually end your fucking dreams. Um, which I love when white people then ex try to explain to people who aren't white that that's not the case. Let me explain your experience. Um, although people who aren't white explain white people to white people. It's just what people do. Everybody knows everything. I think you haven't, you learned that in the pandemic. Somebody said it to me the other day. It's like the amount of people without medical degrees telling me how to avoid getting the coronavirus. We're all full of shit, okay? And I am too. I yelled at a smoke. I called a smoke detector a cunt, people. All right. I will never truly understand their experiences. I know that. But at what point are they being hypocritical? Um, the fair question. I, I understand that. I understand that. I've been in this situation. Uh, it made me think of when Dorothy lands in Oz and they want to know if she's a bad witch or a good witch. And she's like, I'm not a wish, witch. I'm just a kid from Kansas. Uh, this isn't the first time I've had to establish that. I'm one of the good ones. I assume you and Nia have been through the same thing. Oh, we fucking argue all the time about shit like this. It's actually, uh, it could be a show. Like we have, and then in the end, I, I usually end up like, being able to explain myself in a way that she understands and she's able to explain her way in a way that she understands. Um, this is basically the deal. As long as me and my wife don't watch the news, we get along great. <laughs> um, do I just keep trying to prove that I'm one of the good ones? No. Do I call her out on her hypocrisy? Both. Do I let it go? I don't know any. Well, what I usually say when people do that, it's like, you know, I just go, you know, you sound like a white person. Um, and then I also tell them when they try to hit me with that, this white people are just inherently evil. It's like, no, what you're seeing is any race of people with unchecked power. That's what happens is eventually, you know, I don't know what it is. Uh, it is a fascinating thing where I feel like people that crave power and then their psychological makeup is an interesting thing because um, I don't know. Most people I know that are cool are not into wanting to control shit and people who aren't controlling people are not cool to be around. Um, but then having said that somebody has to lead the herd. So I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I get this weird point in my life where I, I just really, I don't know, fucking know anything anymore. Um, he says, I don't know anymore. I don't want to be one of those white people trying to act like they're equally victimized. No, you never want to do that. That's a bad look because of their skin color. Like, yeah, it's a double standard. Yeah, mine is getting choked to death by a cop. Uh, other than that, yeah, exactly. Minus the slavery and all of that bullshit and all the fucking shit that's actually in your head that you don't even fucking address to other people. Other than that, yeah, it's the exact same fucking experience. Um, yeah, but having said that, there's only so much of that horse shit that you can fucking listen to. You know what I mean? 
That's like when I listen, like when white female comics start fucking complaining, you know, about how different you can listen to it. You're like, okay, I get it. I get it to a fucking point. Um, and then it just gets to the point of being like, you know, not for nothing. You're kind of further in your career than I was when I was at your, you know, when I was doing it for five years. So, I mean, I think the fact that you are a woman makes you stand out. It's actually kind of helping you more than it's hurting you. Am I crazy here? Um, but I know that that's not how white, it works with white women. White women are the victim's victim. <laughs> Don't get me fucking started with that shit. I had a great bit back in the day when I did stand up about how white women, how they fucking is incredibly how they sidestepped their own white privilege and just dumped it all on white guys. Fucking unbelievable stroke of genius. Um, and then stuck themselves at the front of the line. As far as, you know, people speaking out about being oppressed. It's, it was amazing. All right. And with that, I'll stop doing parts of my act that I can't even remember anymore. 